Hey everybody, Jake here, and today we're going to take a look at a few uh, pin accessories that I think would be perfect for stocking stuffers this year. Let's go ahead and get into it. So first up, um, we have my favorite three pen case. Uh, this is the Notco Sinclair. It holds three pens and a notebook or, you know, further accessories. Um, and there's uh, some middle space as well. This is a really, really good uh, travel pouch. So if you know somebody who travels a lot, uses fountain pens, this is an excellent, excellent option. Next up, uh, a couple single pen sleeves. This is one from Popov Leather. Um, if you're looking for something a bit luxurious, um, that looks really, really nice, uh, these are awesome. They patina really well. You can see this one's taken on a, a good bit of wear, and they're, they're great. They offer a lot of protection. They're not too bulky, and they're really, really nice leather. And last one we have here, this is a Rickshaw Bagworks uh, solo pen sleeve. Like a <clears throat> almost nylon feeling outside, and they're very, very plush inside, so it doesn't damage the pen at all. These are available in a ton of different colors, a ton of different designs, just about anything you can think of, you can pick one of these up. Um, it's just, it's great to slide down in your pocket. This is probably one of my favorite pen sleeves for just picking up and heading out the door. Next up, um, you can actually put this in that Not Close Sink, Not Co. Sinclair uh, pen case there. Um, this is just a, a storage supply code notebook, but any small notebook I think would be great. Anything that's uh, passport size, you know, uh, three by five or so. Just something to, you know, toss in a bag and uh, head out the door. This one's dot grid. You can get lined, blank page, whatever that person's into. Uh, small notebooks make a great, great gift, especially when it's uh, some really, really good paper. Next up, um, another traveling accessory. This is the Visconti Inkwell. Um, they make a bunch of different inkwells from a bunch of different brands. Um, but this one's the one that I've used, and I really, really like it. I picked this up from Trufe Inc., um, they're my local pen store, and they have an online shop as well. You should definitely check them out. Um, they have a really great selection. But this one is, uh, it holds a lot of ink. We've actually used most of it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but it holds a lot of ink. We took this to Europe when we went, and it had enough ink in it for two weeks, no problem. You uh, stick your pen down in there, and it kind of uh, suction fits it. Tilt the ink uh, well upside down, and then you draw the ink out. I'll do a full review on this later, but... It's great for travel. It's excellent to have with you when you're on the go and you don't want to bring a whole ink bottle. Uh, and it, it works a lot better, in my opinion, for actual filling than, um, say, a sample vial or something like that. I can usually get most of the ink out of this one. Um, next up, we have um, some uh, pen cleaning accessories, I guess. <clears throat> so this is, um, well, it's like a little, what do you call these? Bulb syringe. Um, these are really, really great. You're probably wondering why. Um, what it is is when you have the section of a pen. <clears throat> let me actually show you here. When you have the section of a pen and you're trying to clean ink out of that pen, you can take this, and most of the time they slot right in here. And you can fill this up with water, slide it in here, and push through. And it will clean out the pen much, much quicker than whatever method you're using. I used to just hold it under a sink tap that took forever um, this literally takes 30 seconds they're three or four dollars if that you could probably pick them up at like Dollar Tree or something um, but they're very very cheap they're very very good at cleaning your pens and I can't recommend enough having one of these um, so if the pen person in your life doesn't have one grab one for it and they'll they'll thank you for sure um, next up <clears throat> um, one that functions a bit as a cleaning accessory as well as a filling accessory. This is just a blunt tip syringe. And um, some people kind of freak out about this <clears throat> that I've uh, seen in, in in my life, at least. They're wondering, you know, like, why do you have a syringe? Um, what it is is you can use this to fill pens very, very easily and pull from sample vials. So, uh, for example, I have a, a sample vial here. I have a sample vial right here. <clears throat> um, this is Poppy Plume, Forget Me Not Blue. Now, you'll notice it's kind of cone shaped at the bottom and that's so you can try to get the most you know ink you can but once it gets down to about here or so I noticed that it's very very difficult to fill most of my pens from so what I'll do is I'll stick the syringe down in there and uh, suck up the ink and then you can push it down into the converter or um, <clears throat> the piston filling area or eyedropper also great for eyedropper pens anything like that any um, tight enclosed filling situations this is excellent for it's really good for cleaning out converters as well because you can fill it up with water and put it inside the converter and then 
you know, <clears throat> do it that way. It's excellent for that. If the person, um, if you think they might be freaked out by the syringe, you can always get uh, a little eyedropper vial. This is, again, great for filling pins. It's not quite as flexible as the syringe. It doesn't work for cleaning at all. Um, not really, at least. And it's a little bit wider at the tip. But, you know, um, it's it's a bit less, I'm not going to say threatening, it's a bit less weird to have, um, you know, on your desk. <laughs> Speaking of samples, um, ink samples are an absolutely fantastic gift for people. They cost next to nothing. Um, most pen places have them. Um, I just picked up some yesterday, again, from Truffay. They have them right near the counter, so you can grab a handful of them. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but just ink samples, they're usually one or two mils, a, a couple dollars, and it just lets them try some new ink colors. You can pick these up in bulk from places, um, or if you just want to get them, you know, five, ten of them just to try out some new inks, they're, they're really, really great. And you can reuse these vials. They are marked on three different sizes, so you can see five mil, etc. Um, <clears throat> so they're they're very usable. We keep these most of the ones that we have, and uh, reuse them for either mixing inks or travel. But you know, before we have the Visconti, uh, this is a really really good uh, option for those. Not quite as as nice and a bit harder to fill from if they're not really really full. But for trying new colors, you can beat these. <clears throat> Next up, some inks. Um, so you can get them. You know, a, a full size ink. This here is. Uh, Pilot Eroshizuku Fuyugaki. <clears throat> and you can get them these full-size ink bottles. Um, you know, most of these boxes would fit just fine in a stocking. They're going to be a little heavy, though, so keep that in mind. Um, but this is... These these inks in particular are really, really nice. Um, very premium-feeling bottles. And you can get, again, a, a ton of different inks. If, if that's too large and you're looking for something, um, you know, a little bit smaller... You can get a, a 30 mil bottle, which is, that one there is a 50, which is a very common ink bottle size. Um, these here are 30 mil bottles. They do sell these individually. And I'm sorry, these are 18 mil. But you can also get a 30 mil bottle. <laughs> Any smaller ink bottles um, I think would be excellent for a stocking. You can get these exact ones individually. These are just the Twisby um, colors. But they're, they're really nice, and they're a little bit more ink than samples. They're a little bit nicer than samples. Uh, so, you know, gift giving wise, they usually have better packaging. <clears throat> and um, you can get them for a, a lot of brands have these these really small bottles um, of ink, so you can get you know three four colors. I uh, Suzuki sells a set, uh, Twisby sells a set. You can always take them out of the box, put them in the stock, and they won't be too bad. All right, uh, last couple things here. We have some nib tuning supplies. If they know what they're doing, these are excellent <clears throat> for smoothing out your nibs or getting them to write you know however you want them to. Um, so these are pretty heavily used, but this is a micro mesh, <clears throat> which is uh, a kind of a rougher abrasive for your pen tuning. And then you have uh, mylar paper. This is from Goulet Pens, this uh, set here. And this is excellent for smoothing out my nibs when I get something from, you know, Sailor or something like that, where the nib just has a bit more feedback and I want to smooth it out a tad. These are excellent for that. Uh, just make sure they know what they're doing before they start using these. Um, they can be a bit destructive on your pen if you're not careful. Coloring ink set. So this is what I use for all of my ink cataloging, all of my ink reviews. Um, <clears throat> I have every ink that I own in here. And you can see these in my ink collection video if you're curious. But these are excellent for keeping track of your ink collection. Um, it comes with a bunch of cards. They're pretty inexpensive. I think they're like $10 for coloring. It's very high quality paper. And it's just nice to be able to have all your inks in one place. So when you're looking for a new color, you can kind of pop through and be like, oh yeah, I really want Emerald of Shavor. <clears throat> and last thing here, you can't ever beat uh, a new pen. <laughs> um, probably not something quite this this expensive, but you know, any new fountain pen, I, I think most people would be really excited to get, even if it's something really cheap from the dollar store or something a little bit nicer like a Palette Metropolitan or uh, you know, a Platinum Preppy, something like that. It's, it's going to be really nice to receive a pen. Any of these accessories would be great, um, but a pen is always a really, really good way to go as well. And it's always fun to get a new one. All right, if you guys have any questions about any of these gifts, um, I'll, I'll try to leave links to um, some of the stuff down in the description. But if you have any questions about any of this stuff, just let me know, and I'll be more than happy to help you out. If you have any recommendations for anyone looking for this stuff, 
leave it down in the comments as well. I don't have everything here for sure, um, but you can check down there, and there should be a couple more recommendations as well if you're looking for a few more things. All right, thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.